it's Alex from Risk Academy. And today I wanted to respond to one of your comments that you left under uh, the previous videos that Risk Academy has shot. And the question was, what are my personal favorite books related to risk management or books that really help risk managers develop their interpersonal or communication skills? And uh, today I wanted to share my personal list of, uh, of really good books that influenced my career in risk management. So I've decided to divide the books into two categories. The first category are broader books about the way we think, about the way we make decisions, about the way people behave in the situations of uncertainty. They're not necessarily risk management specific books, but they're the foundation that helps you build um, a professional uh, risk manager. So this is sort of type A and type B are specific risk management related books uh, written by risk managers for, uh, for risk managers. So the first category, the general knowledge that really influences how you provide your risk management expertise to the business. And in this category I placed a number of books. So the first one, which, uh, which was probably the beginning of my personal journey in the modern day uh, risk management, and that's uh, the book called Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Taleb. Now I've read all, all the other books by Nassim Taleb, but, but um, this day on, Fooled by Randomness, his first book, still made the greatest change in my mind. I, I still love this book much more than Black Swan or Antifragility. Um, so I wanted to share this one with you. It's called Fooled by Randomness and of course you can download it from Amazon uh, here. Now the second, the second book which had as much influence on how I help companies identify and deal with risks associated with their objectives is a book called Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Now he's one of the Nobel laureates that uh, received a Nobel Prize in economics for their research in behavioral economics, in risk perception, in cognitive biases. And this book is amazing. It really tells you that human brain works in a very different ways to what we would normally perceive. And this is, this is super critical. This is really important for risk managers because we're trying to convince people, be open about risks, be transparent about risks, take risks into consideration when making decisions. But the reality is this is just not how human brain works. And you, if we as risk management professionals need to realize that because most of the tools that some of us are still using like heat maps or risk registers, or risk workshops are fundamentally flawed because our brain works in a different way. And this is why I think this book is absolutely critical. Now the third one uh, that I wanted to share with you is, is a more recent one. It's called Decision Quality by, by Karl Spitzer. And this is an amazing book about how decisions are being made. And it talks about a significant role for uncertainty analysis, for risk analysis in the decision making, decision making process. And this is very important. I love this book, so I recommend it again. You can, um, you, you can uh, search for it here on Amazon. And the last book that you know, made a significant influence on me that sort of talks about broader aspects of risk management, it's called Risk Savvy, How to Make Good Decisions. And it's written by Georg Gegerenza. And I apologize, I always mispronounce uh, his, uh, his last name. But this is a great book about risk perception. Really challenges people who we think are professionals and should be cognizant of how probability, how uncertainty, how risk analysis works, but they don't. And it, sometimes it costs people, people lives. So this is a great book to just put things in the perspective on how critical, how important, how fundamentally important risk analysis, proper risk analysis is to making decisions. So that's it for the sort of the broader category. Now go, moving on to the risk management, the, the second category. Um, risk management specific books and there are a few there. The first one, quite recent, it's called World Class Risk Management by Norman Marks. I enjoyed it immensely because it's a really nice summary of what the future of risk management holds but in very simple high level uh, questions without going into a lot of, into technical details. But it talks about the fundamental things like the need to integrate risk management, risk thinking into everything your organization does already. Not creating a separate system, not creating your standalone 
risk management frameworks or risk management process or risk assessments for that matter, but integrating it into the way companies operate, into the way the companies make decisions, into the way the company reports and monitors its objectives. The second one um, is slightly older but still a great book because it dispels a lot of common risk management misconceptions plus gives you an insight into the quantitative side of risk management, something that is really close to me and something I really enjoy. It's called Why Risk Management is Broken and How to Fix It uh, by Douglas Hubert and it's a great book again, I highly recommend it, you can download it here. And the final one that I wanted to share today, um, I'm reading it right now and so far I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a great book that takes us finally from just statements and feel-good uh, conversations about risk to hardcore quantitative risk analysis on integrating into real decision-making, influencing how budgets are set, how projects are managed, uh, which, I, which I find is great. And the book is called Business Risk and Simulation Modeling in Practice by Michael Reese. And again, you can download it here. I highly recommend this book. So those are those are seven that really made a difference in my mind. Um, maybe as an added bonus, um, the, the other book that I recently read, which was, which was great fun. It's called Billion Dollar Lessons, and you can download it here. Um, it's a great book because it uncovers about 40 huge corporate coll collapses and really drills down to what the fundamental reasons behind those collapses may have been. Um, I mean, none of us will ever know for sure what really happened in the boardrooms and behind closed doors, but it really tries to group different aspects of thinking I into um, the fundamental reasons why large corporations, why any type of business collapse. So it's a great book to read in your spare time as well. So I would be really interested to learn about your favorite book, so please write underneath this video if you have anything to add. Uh, I mean, I read all, all, all the time on risk management, so I would be interested in what, what, to, uh, what to purchase next. And if you want to see more videos like that, do subscribe to Risk Academy YouTube channel. For now, thank you and goodbye.